All right, so this is the piece that we have cut out of cardboard and we're going to model in on shape. Uh, hit the plus sign in the lower right hand corner. Make sure to add your name to the beginning of the document and then title, title it appropriately. You know, you, we're going to have the slotted piece and the tabbed piece in the same document so we can assemble them. So let's go ahead and actually title it uh, tabbed connection and we'll put both pieces in the same file. All right, click, click your uh, sketch tool and then we're going to click on the word front. And we're going to start with the corner rectangle. And click our navigation cube. So we're looking at the front. Now you want to press and hold off to the side until you get a little plus sign. Oh, sorry. We're going to turn off, uh, click on the eyeballs to turn off the different planes. There you go. There's a little plus sign that comes from pressing and holding. Drag your finger to the origin and let go. Nothing will happen until you press and hold again. And then you'll see the rectangle appear. Don't worry about how big it is right now. Just draw it approximately the same shape as your cardboard. Going back to our tools, we're going to now uh, grab the dimension tool and again we're pressing and holding against the screen to select those corners and we're going to put our finger right on the number and drag it out and make that a three inch dimension. Press and hold, let go, press and hold, let go, finger on the number, drag it. Drag it down, and then you just gotta tap the number with your finger and replace it with whatever dimension you have. In my, in my case, it was a three inch by four inch piece of cardboard. Now, what I'm gonna do is draw some, uh, the same lines that I drew on the cardboard construction lines. So I've got my line tool turned on and pressing and holding it snaps. Notice the orange line. That means it's wants, it wants to start drawing right there and that's fine. Let go, press and hold again, and then make sure your line is horizontal. There it is. And let go. Make sure you avoid the midpoint. Uh, that little circle you see on the right edge of the shape is the midpoint. That's one and a half inches below the top and one and a half inches above the bottom. You don't want to draw your line to the midpoint because then it'll be constrained to the midpoint. So try to avoid midpoints when you're drawing uh, your lines. So what I just did there was I uh, turned on the construction tool, which is right next to the line tool at the top that actually made it a dashed line. Now you can see right here, that was the midpoint. We don't want that, right? So don't let go until you're below the midpoint. But notice the line is dashed. Okay, that's very important. We don't want, this is just a guideline to help us draw the slot. We don't want it to be a solid line. So now I'm dimensioning one inch from the top. And the other line was two inches from the top or one inch below the line we just dimensioned to.
All right, so now I've, I've gone to the tools and I've uh, selected the corner rectangle tool again. And again, you're pressing and holding. And when you draw it, oh, there you go, there's the midpoint. Try to avoid that or else you'll be locked into that location. When you draw the rectangle, it doesn't need to be accurate, right? The most important thing is that you're touching the top, well, the, the top dash line and the bottom dash line, right? That'll help us locate the slot. The width of the slot we'll get from our dimensions in a second. So let's go back to our image of our construction. Right, when we see the left edge of the slot is 2 and 2 sixteenths inches from the right. And the right edge of the slot is 2 inches from the right. Okay, so I'm about to highlight those dimensions. And we're going to put those exact same dimensions on our on-shape model. Now we've exited on shape, so we actually have to click on the three dots next to sketch one and hit edit. Be careful, don't start a new sketch. If you see sketch one, sketch two, delete sketch two and go back and edit sketch one, right? You only wanna have a single sketch at this point. So now we're gonna put those dimensions on uh, left edge to the far right corner of our shape. And you've gotta move that dimension up, it's diagonal, We've got to move it up until it turns horizontal. And we're going to use the keyboard here to actually type in 2 and 2 sixteenths. So just above the, the red X is that little keyboard symbol. And you can actually type in the whole inches. You've got to delete the IN. Type in the whole inches plus the fraction, which is 2 sixteenths of an inch. And it'll convert it to a decimal for you. Now we're going to grab the right edge one of those one of those points on the right edge and the right edge of our shape drag it up until it's horizontal and this was two inches and that looks like you know a thin slot just like our cardboard So now we've got two shapes, right? We've got the inside little skinny rectangle and the whatever's around it, that other shape. We need to be careful when we extrude that we tap on not the little skinny part in the middle, right? If we do, we'll end up extruding that little rectangle and that's actually gonna be a hole. So just be careful that when you tap, you actually select anything but that skinny little rectangle in the middle. Don't forget you can always undo or delete what you've done. So there we've extruded the correct thing, but it doesn't look the correct profile, but it doesn't look right because we extruded too far. All right, so we're gonna change the depth to an eighth of an inch, which is 125 thousandths. I'm gonna use the keyboard to again demonstrate. You can type in, uh, you gotta delete the IN. 2 divided by 16, 2 sixteenths of an inch. It converts it to 125 thousandths. And now it should look like a thin piece of cardboard. It should match the piece that I actually used. And that looks pretty good. So, you know, if it doesn't look right, your dimensions are off. If it looks like your product, um, then most likely you modeled it correctly.